I'm back with part two. I'm back with part two, yes. It's not. You gotta get on your account. I am. Email your teacher. I can't. Why not? Restart it, log off, and log back on. So, I just, yeah, we're going to stay here. God's trying to get us at this part two. If you caught the last video, I'm still going to upload this. This is part two. But he's trying to, and if you didn't catch the first one, go catch the first one. But it's called um, Mastery in Self-Defense. It could work for you. It could work against you. After you learn that you live that season of defending yourself in every area of your life, you're going to put that cap down because, baby, you don't want to have to work harder when you can work smarter because Jesus knows everything and he's already up ahead of you, which means he's up ahead of them. He's up ahead of that. He's up ahead of every destination that tries to look like you need to explain. And so at that point, you could just take the route of focus of rest on all sides. And as you realize God is in the, the midst of thee, <laughs> how he collects every data you will think that you're moving by your own speed or your own time frame and then you looking like if, if you don't if you start to focus on you you'll start to say like wait did i do what god told me to do on that da, da, da. but it'd be such an ease where he gonna remind you while you're doing it like you remember you ain't even get this ain't even been brought back up to you but you actually here doing this and then you be so happy like yeah okay so you ain't got to stress about nothing because see when you start to become so in an uproar of defending what's not needed to be said or not needed to be done mm -hmm. when that advice be hitting and the holy spirit be rem making you remember <laughs> what you said you like okay so look but you don't have to work harder than the opponent. You don't have to work harder than the opposite direction. You don't have to overwork yourself in an area where now you have ease so you can actually go forward and higher and incline on what's what's more adamant towards the direction of where you're needing the, my God, blessing to be manifested or to be harvested towards <laughs> perfection. But without you being perfect, which look like Jesus being your lamb without blemish. As Jesus is your lamb without blemish, you walk towards the direction of the field automatically without assigning yourself another task of a responsibility towards a direction that you really could just let God defend you on. You really could just move forward and be like, you know what? Although this happened like that, and I ain't mean it like that, where I even... Knew I was wrong and I should have been up there doing this. I'm going to just not take my time here to explain to even yourself. Sometimes we do it to ourselves. Sometimes we'll spend some time talking to ourselves. and Well, really, we we having a whole conversation with God, but you you got so wrapped up in it, it being about you and what, what just had happened and the explaining of everything that you got stuck into the, hear me now, the, the storm of every situation. But see, when the storm has come now, you got to try to find a way to decipher between confusion and what's the actual point of when you started. And then sometimes you'd be looking like, oh, I feel like the stupor but you really not the stupor, but the stupor just came near you. And so a lot of the times when you're gifted and you have a gift from God and you are a either a seer or a prophet or, you know, you are you have the gift of discerning, you discern the atmosphere. And so that thing that came near to you made you think that that was you in that moment. So then when it moves away from you because Jesus is right there by you, it starts to make you go back and forth with yourself. And then you're sitting over there like, oh, where did this bl the brain fall come from? Come from. So yeah, immediately I know you. I know you like me. I know you well disciplined. I know you on your journey, and you know I'm being sarcastic because you know, child, we we human. But baby, you don't keep on going to go ask some scriptures. It don't matter. Put the scriptures on the tablets of your doorposts in your home. Put it on your refrigerator, baby. You need to have a scripture everywhere you go in the area so you can have your weapon, baby, to pull out the drawer with the knives at. But you don't really have to use a knife. You just use the scripture, baby. It's the sword of God. It be cutting that thing good to let you realize, oh. I'm, I didn't forget. I do remember because Jesus with me. He is a prophet. How could I forget? And he already know everything. So that looked like you loving yourself instead of 
being in a portion of yourself that is wasting time in an area that doesn't have an answer. Oh, he just flipped that thing. Bang, bang. He flipped that thing, didn't he? Whatever. <laughs> he flipped that thing, though, to work for our good. As it's working for our good, we realize that it would be beneficial for somebody to, what, whoever is doing whatever in the midst of thee, for me to move forward, to go focus on something else, so that by the time that thing that was just in the midst of thee catch up to thee, the me that thee that walked away to thee, to those, to, 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 to him. <laughs> ah, um, I've already accomplished something else. I've already worked on something else. I'm not spending time in an area too long. I'm not in the the dark that was thrown against me for delay. Because he tells us what, Camille? He says, do not... Be where? afraid of the terrors... Talk, talk louder. Do not be afraid of the terrors of the night nor the arrows that fly in the day. That looked like us not going into fear of what else has happened around us or focusing so much on it that you become in connection to that thing that it starts to speak to your atmosphere because when it does, then it now just became polluted in the direction of where he was intended for you to actually go. It starts to look like now what is going on? <laughs> what just happened? Like, God, where are you? Jesus, where are you? Hear me now. Hear me now. And whoever that's for, that's for. I'm the type of girl, like, I'm literally going to take, like, and this one is so funny. When something starts to startle me to the point where it's alerting me, baby, I'm running to my word. Like, Lord, where, where, is, where we at? You hear me? But I learned that in the sense of me doing that, I became his daughter again. Not just the prophetess or not just the gift or, the, or his anointing, or his oil, or whatever he has placed on me, but I became the child of God, because I now just was able to notice that, baby, I still get startled, and it's okay, but I'm not the fear that tried to startle me, because he didn't give me a spirit of fear, but of love, peace, and a sound mind. What's that? What just hit me? Run that back. Run that back for the people when the bet. Run that bet. All right. Y'all, I feel real jolly. And I be loving y'all so much. I be trying to come on here and give y'all every little detail of what God be telling me. But see, this new segment of my life, he been having me work on so many different seasons of what's next for you guys. And y'all journey of, of my God just shifting how he has thought of you, how he has inclined the 144,000 where we are looking or... Where, share this video, start sharing, start liking, start doing something that helps somebody else because there are so many of us out here who need the information that God has given in such an accurate amount of time. I always tell y'all, it's not just y'all on the videos, baby, at the mountain peak, but baby, it's me too. I be up here like, play that back seven times four because the enemy just really, <gasps> okay, Wusa, just calm it down. Hello? Calm it down, okay? If you want me to be perfect, please stop. Because I'm not. Like, I'm just trying to tell the, 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 the Pharisees in the back. The Sadducees in the back. But, yeah. Long story short. <laughs> I be doing enough. I be doing enough. You know how they be like, you be doing too much, you know, baby? I be doing enough. I be doing a whole enough, okay? <laughs> but I just want y'all to understand that there is always two sides to a story. And one of them bad boys be making you complete when you partner fully in Jesus in every situ situation. And for the people that always be like, she be all about Jesus. All about Jesus. That come from the second side of the story where I was like all about the world. And I noticed it needed all about Jesus. <laughs> and so as I ran into the direction that was all about Jesus... Baby, I became in the partnership of, of, of being embedded with the king. Hear me though? And so the, the, the king just started living fruitfully all in me. So I would rather it be all about Jesus than all about what the world trying to talk about or say about. Because baby, every single thing the world got to offer is a little bit of decrease. Because it starts to go back to you realizing you're in the body. The body has flesh. Whoever that's for, that's for. 
I love y'all. I'm trying to think of every single detail. Mm -hmm. I be loving y'all. Come on, y'all. Let's do. Give me a song. Let's minister because sometimes I know my personality can be stern sometimes, but joyful. Sometimes it be like full of every single detail. I heard the Holy Spirit say charisma. And so it's like you might get all different expressions, but I mean you well. I really do. Like, I really will tell you the truth. I'm that one one friend that I ain't going to let you have your head down, like, in a situation. But I'm also going to try to nourish your feelings so that you don't be hurt about what I'm about to tell you. But I'm going to tell you the truth, but then I'm going to let you decide. But then once you decide, if that decision that you make is not my God seeing the truth that I gave you, then baby, I done had to learn to step it back a little bit. No, no, pause that. Okay, pause that. I'm going to have to let it step. I'm going to have to step back a little bit and let you get the light from the other side where you may understand it from another perspective. And then you come back to realize that, my God, I heard this before. And it don't be about the person who told you, but it be about God. Because God had to maneuver me to understand to move sometimes out the way. So, so, so stop trying to defend every single case and every scenario to make it look like you're right. So much so that the enemy would be trying to make you look like you don't like to be wrong. I've been down that road, too. It don't feel good. <laughs> but then I also learned that that works for me in the body's alignment when the enemy trying to fight me on every single detail by me trying to make sure that I know that I know that I know, and I'm pointing towards Jesus being that no, that I know that I know that I know. Every single detail, the enemy keep trying to point at my past self or who I used to be. Baby, it gets dropped down like, my God, hear me down. Mortar combat, pressure the demo, bop, 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 until it fall down to the ground. And so it looked like a win when it should have been a loss. It looked like a lesson instead of the loss. It looked like a blessing when you get the message. Mess. It looked like a blessing when you get the lesson. It looked like a blessing when you get the lesson. Come here over here flowing in the back. So I think we all be needing that love from another side of ourselves that we can grow and understand and mature so God can talk to us in full sentences. God be wanting to mature from milk to solid food, but you got to be able to take the incline to hear every single detail in. He'll let you live in a portion of your life for a season that you want to stay on with him. But if you choose that doorway all the time, then that's where you, that's the, all you're going to get is a, like a word. <laughs> Who just wants a word when you can get full conversations with God? Like nobody, baby, read your word. I don't care if it's a paper. Read your word, child of God. Read. Can you see these words? Read your word. Challenge yourself. And let nobody judge you. And I need a word. Ah. Mm -hmm. I'm looking to see what can I do. Mm hmm. Let's find this song. If you got time and you waiting, I thank you. You are so kind and sweet to yourself. <laughs> to me too. But you so kind and sweet to yourself because you made it this far in the video. That means you really trying. That means you really aiming for yourself to reach purpose. That means you really like wanting and deserving more. And you're like, I hear God is saying a, a woman of valor. And that means when you get to that portion, you're aiming towards royalty. And I hear God is saying like you're achieving more focus with him. And he says, it's probably for me too, y'all. Your girl be getting in trouble. But the Tyler mindset is descending. Like it's coming low. And so when he, when you do that, you're able to let him rise high. It's, it's that situation where he be like, where we be like, Lord, allow me to decrease so you may increase. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I was trying to sing this song before. And I got all the lyrics wrong. <laughs> so now we're going to do it this way because God been ministering through music. Go check her out. Jessica Reedy is this one song, Help Me Become More in My Journey of Deliverance, where it says, I used to be. And he says another one. He's She got another song that you may love that says, uh, you, 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 you make nothing, you make something out of nothing. But it say, I used to be so broken, 
lost, empty. Mm -hmm. A heart with no beat. Mm -hmm. A singer with no song to sing. Okay. So I know the feeling. The silence is deafening. But in your pain lies a blessing, okay? A sweeter song of victory. So keep walking and walking and walking, though it seems so far. Know it, know it matters who you are. See, there's one thing that I know. Life, it can leave you so bitter, 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 bitter. But you must believe that it gets better, 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 better. It's all right, dry your eyes, send a prayer through the sky. I know it's hard to find. But you must believe that it gets better, okay? So, this part go like, and in that part, it was just like, basically, everything we had just discussed. <laughs> That's why I'm trying to tell you, God is so good. The second part, it goes, listen to me. I know you're scared, your heart's bleeding. But what are you going to do now? I think it's time to break free and keep walking and walking and walking, though it seems so far. No, it doesn't really matter who you are. See, there's one thing that I know. Life, it can leave you so bitter, 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 bitter. But you must believe that it gets better, 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 better. Okay. Okay. Y'all, this is a testimony within a testimony. I think I'm going to drop the testimony after. But this just made me calm all the way down. Because it's like bringing back that memory of me being in the world. And when I came to Jesus. And how all of the stuff that I went through was leading down a path of destruction. But then Jesus showed up and revealed his marvelous light to me. And saved my life like as the Savior. I knew him as Lord, but I needed him as Savior. But it wasn't until I was walking down that path of destruction of being caught up into the bitter, 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 bitter. Okay. And then I needed him, okay, in the better, better, better. Okay. I needed him on the flip side. <laughs> I needed him on the flip side. But this next part. Stay tuned because I may be doing another testimony of me seeing heaven and literally almost ending up on a deathbed because of my actions of sin. I was on the deathbed because of my actions of sin, but there was a beauty in the story of how I came to God that I think I'm going to drop. So comment that, hear me now. If you interested, if this will help you in your journey, because I heard last night that so many people have saw a vision and they're trying to decipher what what it means. But God is ready to expose and reveal more light of what you see. You're not crazy, but if you give it to the wrong person, then they may think the very thing that God gave to bless you make it seem like you're mentally crazy when really you're just really gifted, peculiar. It's in a word. He calls us his peculiar possession. His chosen people, hear me now, his nation to himself, his royal priesthood. So this part, and then I'm done. Where was it? See, I was almost out of here. I wanted to die from how I was done wrong. I cried out every night looking for a helping hand. That's when it happened. Jesus took me and he held me close, gave me love, refilled my heart, helped me grow and better because his love, it made me whole. He's available anytime. Try him out. He changed your life. You see, cause I know life it can leave.
eu sou pera, 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 pera. But you must believe that it gets better, 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 better. I'm out of here. May peace be with you all. Be blessed. <laughs> Bye.